Located in the central Plaza de la Encarnación, the Metropole Parasol goes by a few names. It is known locally as Las Setas de Sevilla or Setas de la Encarnación, which means Mushrooms of the Incarnation, or just plain Las Setas, the Mushrooms. The Metropole Parasol is a wooden structure with two concrete columns that hold the access elevators to the viewpoint. It measures 150 by 70 meters and is approximately 26 meters high. The structure consists of six large mushroom-shaped parasols whose design is inspired by the arches of Sevilla's cathedral and the ficus trees of nearby Plaza del Cristo de Burgos. All in all, it has five levels. It was the winning project in the competition opened by the Seville City Council to carry out the renovation of Plaza de la Encarnación. Its designer was the architect from Berlin, Jorgen Meyer. Under the parasols is an elevated, shady, and diaphanous Plaza Mayor designed to host a variety of events. At ground level is the current Mercado de la Encarnación, along with commercial and catering spaces. General ticket to the Mirador or Viewpoint costs 3 euros. However, the locals and children under the age of 5 can enter for free. You can buy the tickets at the ticket booths located in the underground level. On the same level, right next to the entrance and ticket booths, you can find the Antiquarium Museum, which displays the archaeological remains found there. There's also a lift or elevator from this level to the viewpoint. The upper level features a panoramic 250 meter long skywalk that winds its way across the Setas de Sevilla rising and dipping along with the mushrooms. While the parasol isn't super high, it was just 26 meters at its tallest point. It is tall enough to be above most nearby buildings and offers amazing views of the city. As you follow the path, there are signs detailing the notable buildings around the Sevilla city center. There are also information signs above the construction of the parasol itself. Until 1973, Plaza de la Encarnación was the home of a market. The building was demolished and the market shifted to a corner of a property, but the rest of the area sat dormant for decades. In the 1990s, construction began on an underground car park, but work was quickly stopped. During that work, Roman and Al-Andalus ruins were discovered. The historical discovery halted construction so archaeological work could be undertaken. However, the project was never restarted. In 2000, 
2004, Sevilla decided that the area should finally be revitalized. A competition was held to generate ideas with the winner changing the skyline of Sevilla forever. The project was controversial from the start. Many thought that the modern design of the Setas de Sevilla was too different from the historic neighborhood around it. Others thought it was too expensive, and this was before the eventual costs doubled to nearly 100 million euros. Construction of the Metropole Parasol took years. When construction started in June 2005, the project was estimated to take two years to complete. Due to engineering delays with the wood materials, the Setas de Sevilla did not open until 2011. The completed structure is made from 3,500 pieces of finished pine wood connected by 3,000 knots, 16 million screws, and a lot of glue. The wood is comprised of micro-laminated layers which provide the necessary strength. Two concrete pillars provide most of the support for the parasols. This is the design that allowed for the protection of the ruins below. The Plaza de la Encarnación is the zero kilometer of the old town of Seville. During the Roman Hispalis, this place was a residential and industrial area related to the port activity. This relationship was due to the fact that the riverbed ran close to where we were. After the conquest of the city in 1248 to the Alhomats by King Ferdinand III, this place would become a nobiliary residence with many palace houses. In 1591, it was built where we find the convent of the incarnation of the Augustinian religion. It is the existence of this convent that gives name to the square de la Encarnacion. In 1810, the Napoleonic army ordered by Marshal Soult demolished the convent. In 1842, in the existing site, it was decided to build a food market, the first in the city. In 1973, due to structural problems, the building was demolished and the market moved to a temporary one a few meters away. For 37 years, this site was fenced and unused. In 2003, the City Council of Seville announced an international competition and Jürgen Meyer's proposal was the winner. In May 2011, all the floors of the building renamed by the citizens as Las Setas de Sevilla were open to the public. Also at the top level is a tapas restaurant and a space for events, shade and rest for tired visitors. The best time to visit the Setas de Sevilla is during the golden hour. The setting sun adds to the depth of the parasol and illuminates the surrounding city. Thank you.